Hello, I'm Sharon Kwa. Welcome to Maipo, one of the world's greatest wetland reserves. Autumn at an estuary in northwest Hong Kong. This is the internationally important Maipo Inner Deep Bay Ramsar site, a haven for tens of thousands of migratory waterbirds and home to a wealth of other wildlife. At its heart is one of the world's greatest wetland reserves. Join us on a journey spanning biodiversity, management and education work, and challenges facing Maipo marshes. Hong Kong's wetland superstar. School children are among the nearly 30,000 people who visit Maipo each year. WWF Hong Kong manages the reserve, together with Hong Kong's Agriculture, Fisheries and Conservation Department. With an area of 380 hectares, it's 20 times the size of Victoria Park and the key reserve of the Deep Bay Wetland Complex. Secondary school children might check water quality and search for microscopic pond life. For primary school children, there are chances to simply experience nature. If they're lucky, they'll visit when the Maipo staff have drained a pond and shallow pools abound with fish, attracting hordes of egrets to the banquet. It's a rare opportunity for Hong Kong city kids to see wild birds up close. Through scientific research at Maipo, such as bird ringing by qualified researchers so birds can be closely examined, the birds are weighed, measured, and fitted with a metal band if they're later discovered overseas, the number of the band may tell of their journeys far beyond Hong Kong. A python is slow moving. Chilled by falling temperatures as winter approaches, heavy equipment is likewise inactive at this time. But there's still work to be done in the reserve, like trimming grass and small trees, so wetland does not become woodland. Water buffalo from old farm areas also help keep the grass trimmed. During winter, water birds abound on Maipo ponds. Many are fleeing severe winters in Russia and North China. With its reed beds, shrubs, and trees, Maipo is also home to land birds, such as red starts, robins, magpies, and buntings. Southern Maipo seems especially wild in winter. Here, you might find a mongoose, and you've also got a good chance of seeing an eagle, maybe being mobbed by an osprey. They like to perch in trees and then threaten the water birds. Globally endangered birds can be seen. Oriental stork is rare at Maipo, but black-faced spoonbill is a familiar sight. It's a Maipo starbird. Yet, worldwide it's highly endangered, and this is one of its last main refuges. Worldwide, estuarine mudflats are too often viewed as wastelands. They're perhaps reclaimed as a ready source of new land for building on. Yet, in reality, they're amongst the richest and most productive ecosystems on Earth, rivaling tropical rainforests for biodiversity. Highly endangered birds include Nordman's greenshank, but the common birds reflect the richness of the estuary. Most life is hidden in the mud. 
Yet, watch the swirling flocks of birds over Maipo in winter, and you'll appreciate how valuable this habitat really is. The aerial acrobatics of Dunlin flocks, performing as if they're one individual, somehow embody the spirit of the mudflats. Work on Maipo Marsh's nature reserve began in 1983, and it's since become a role model for reserves across East Asia, including staff and officials from the Minjiang Estuary Reserve in Fujian Province, Southeast China, a team of experts from Maipo visits the Minjiang Estuary. They meet local villagers, assess their troubles, explain about conservation, and they explore the reserve to help plan better management. With many sites severely threatened by development, working with key reserves is vital to the survival of wetlands and their birds and other wildlife. The party of black-faced spoonbills clearly shows that the Minjiang is on the same flyway as Maipo. Maipo staff monitor wildlife in the reserve, mainly to check the effectiveness of management work. But they're also aware of changes around Maipo. Intensive developments, water pollution, even surrounding fish ponds face big changes. Maipo's future is by no means secure. It needs help. Yet Maipo remains a wonderful, special place. Many creatures come to life with springtime warmth, especially insects, which may feed clouds of swallows or dragonflies that hunt over the ponds. Butterflies and moths feast on nectar. The heavy equipment will be busy soon, maintaining shallow bays and islands in Maipo Nature Reserve. Shrimp are among the wildlife that become active with warmer weather. Maipo Reserve is mainly former shrimp ponds known as Gaiwai. Though there's no longer commercial shrimp harvesting, WWF Hong Kong keeps the tradition alive. It's part of Hong Kong's traditional cultural heritage. By late spring, the breeding season is well underway for resident birds. But there are still migrants passing through on huge journeys that might take them from Australia to North Siberia. For them, the mangrove and tidal mudflats are vital. Flocks of shorebirds gather as the tide falls. Many are in superb breeding plumage, often with reds and browns that will camouflage them in Arctic tundra. Asian dowagers are among the beautiful yet threatened birds to be seen. Few places in the world can match Maipo for a variety of shorebirds. They're another indicator of the vital importance of Maipo and the deep bay wetland. <laughs> 